Hey guys, this is Forte, and uh, this video will be solely talking about risk management. Very the basic of the basics. I, if you know what I'm going to talk about in this video, you don't have to watch the video. If you don't, if you're a new trader, even an intermediate trader, you should watch this. Okay, it's really simple stuff, but not a lot of people knows how to risk manage and how many shares to buy, you know, to control risk, uh, how to reduce risk. I'm going to use real life example, real life trading examples. To show you guys okay i'm not gonna do like lectures or anything so i'm gonna use a trade i got in lately aehr um the stock moved like 40 almost 50 percent in just three days right and it's a good trade that's why i want to show you guys how i like even right now even if the stock comes all the way down i won't lose money on it because i got in at a really good spot right there um and i have re i have moved my stop already all the way to the low of the day today right there and i'm going to show you guys how i did it number one if you guys have seen my other videos you will realize that i do buy stocks on the intraday time frame right and uh on this one i actually use the two minute time frame i'm gonna show it looks a little confusing right now please bear with me uh this day right here right there where i got i didn't actually got the perfect entry i got my entry right there i wanted to buy above the previous day's high right which is right there close enough right the stock gapped up i didn't want to chase it i i honestly was like the stock gapped quite a bit actually almost two percent i think i was like i don't want to trade this stock anymore I already gapped but then i know i still I, I was still looking at it you know it didn't gap too much and the way it gapped it had a little pullback if you I, if you put the uh, vwap right there it pulled back to the vwap and found buyers really fast so i was like maybe this stock has like really good strength so i am going to buy the stock right here above this high right at the uh 1448 now i put my stop at somewhere that's extremely tight i don't recommend beginners to do it i do it because i realized how strong the stock is and the day that the the market was really getting going in, um, during this day so i put my stop at the low of right like right there right at 14 uh 1417 basically so if you if now now the question is so if i want to buy above this high and put my stop right there it's a really tight stop i can buy a lot of shares and still not lose a lot of money how many shares do i buy here's your when you take out your calculator really really simple you put in the high of that which is 14 um 14 uh 14 48 that's where that's my entry minus my stop which is at 14 17 right now it comes to this number of 31 cents now based on how much money you want to risk the market wasn't doing so good for the last couple of days and weeks so i didn't want to risk over risk i risk 500 dollars in this trade so you do 500 divided by 0.31 so every single time when the stock move up 31 cents you make 500 dollars right boom you buy in order to in order for that to happen so if the stop comes down to here and kick me out i lose 500 if it goes up 31 cents i make 500 and so on right how many shares do i need to buy for that to happen 1612 so you have to buy 1612 shares i round it down to 1600 because uh slippage happened so i always round down and i like even numbers so i bought 1600 stocks shares of this uh aehr and the stock got going right and uh, then you want to now let's go all the way back and use the 15 minute chart. This is what I this is what I used to basically change my stop, right? So originally our stop was at 14. Oh, sorry. What was it? 1417, right? So 1417. That's where our stop pretty much technically is. After it got going for the ver the first day, right? At the end of the day, I moved my stop right there. I don't, you know, if the if the next morning the stock pulls back, I don't put my stop. I put my stop after like the first 10 minutes of the market. So first I write it down. I have my stop right there. And then the stock got really got going on this day, right? It gapped, got going at the, by the end of uh, Friday, I have put my stop at the low of the day right there. So I've moved my stop to 1453. Now, first... I moved after the after the stock got going right it moved from uh how many cents it moved a dollar and 68 cents so one dollar 60 and 68 cents divided by 
31 cents. We are already up 5R on this on the trade. It's crazy. It's like in one day. And then I moved my stop to what? 14, four, uh, 84. So immediately we don't lose money any, anymore. Like the, at the end of the day, when it's up 5R, we don't lose money anymore, you know? And then the very next day you move your stop up even like to this area. Now we even secure some more gains in the stock. This way you, you probably want to sell some, you know, into strength. But if you didn't, at this point, just moving a stock up like this, you know, you already don't lose money. Now, I'm almost giving you guys a perfect example, like a really good trade that happened lately. Not every trade is going to work this well. But if it does, I want you guys to, when it, when they do happen, please, you know, try to take advantage of it. Move your stop up tight. And then that's it. For the, the stock didn't really move too much. It, moved, it went up a little bit. That's it. So I, didn't, I just let my stop stay right there. And then today, it's uh, October 11th, 2021 market open it gapped down a little bit it got going by the end of today i'm going to move my stop to the low of today that's it now my my stop will be at 1820 i will not lose money on this one on this trade anymore and uh if you guys ask if i put my stop at 1822 right now and the stocks at 18 1983 i'm putting a lot of profit on the table but if you don't put a lot of money on the table, you're not going to get a lot of money back. That's the risk you have to take. Now, uh, let me see if I can show you guys. Whew, sorry, sorry, earphone users. Uh, another example that I can do. Another long example. That's good. MAR. MAR was a good one. MAR was a really, really good trade. Sorry, my sister is texting me. Um, this trade, we also, I think I even, did I make a video? I don't remember, but I 100% tweeted this one even before we entered the trade. I got in this trade right here on this very day. You know, now you guys are like, this guy just showing us winners. Yeah, I'm showing you guys winners because winners are easy to manage. Losers are just, you know, you put your stop right there and you get out, you know. If uh, many people don't, I don't think they have problem managing losers, I feel like. But the winners, they have a lot of problems with it. That's why I'm showing you guys winning trades. Now, MAR is a really good trade. We got in at, uh, let's use the intraday time frame to see because I'm not, I don't remember. It's been a while. I made, I made quite a bit on this one. Day was it? If I look in this chart, and see. it has to be some. Let me double check. Sorry, it was on Thursday, December twenty third. Okay, makes sense. There you go. This makes sense. Yeah. On this consolidation on the uh, previous day, I bought the stock above this high. They didn't buy at the bottom. I didn't open and buy. I waited. I it opened the first fifteen minutes. It gave a clean entry, meaning no gaps, no gap downs, nothing crazy. Stock simply moved up and triggered my price. And I have my. Let me take my notes. Oof. Sorry. Uh, M A R M A R. Find it. I should have been more prepared for this video. I'm sorry, guys. I am so sorry. It's from October. You know, the, the, the problem I have is that I really should put, put dates for my notes because I do not have any dates. And uh, that's a problem. So MAR is on this page. Let me see where... I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> You can uh, put the video on two times speed. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. I put my stop at $1. one dollar. Uh, what is it? One forty four. But I'm pretty sure I changed it to one forty four thirty eight. So I moved the stop up by thirty eight cents. I put it at the low today because I thought we wouldn't come down and touch that. So I actually just got in. I bought in at one forty five seventy six. So seventy nine. One forty five seventy nine minus uh the low of the day, which is our stop at. 144.38. So our stop is a dollar and 41 cents. Now let's say we're risking 500 bucks. 
500 divided by one dollar and 41 cents you have to buy 354 shares so 350 shares right 350 shares now how much let's see how many how much did it move in one day so the stock by the end of the day move about four dollars and 29 cents 429 divided by one dollars and 41 the stock is up three r so we're up 1500 on the trade now here's the now this is a problem you don't we don't see big pullbacks you know we don't we don't see the stock making like it got going and pull back and got going again this way you can simply move your reduce your risk by moving your stop up here but the stock didn't do that it kind of just got going flat and tomorrow it got going again there's two things you can do it depends on your personality one leave your stop as it is and wait for the next day to make a movement and move it up number two is you have to actually come up with a arbitrary number and i use the vwap right i use uh the vwap and basically a candle that kind of makes sense to me i put it somewhere right about i didn't move it that much because i believe it can probably you know move more i moved it to this candle right there so i immediately after at the end of the day i moved my stop to a 147 basically and uh 147 dollars well basically i put it a penny below so 146.99 and our entry was 145.79 so after the stop the stock has moved 3r i moved my stop right there it might be a little aggressive i might be putting gains away but uh that's what i do that's i, I don't want to i don't want the stock to become a loser after i'm up a thousand five hundred bucks on it 3r on it that's ridiculous right you can even sell some too like you can you can when it's up 2r 3r you can sell some and then keep your stop right there this way you also reduce risk by selling just that in the future when the stock goes up even more the gains gets you know the profit gets reduced but it's the same in the end you know it's oh there's always going to be don't 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 ever try to keep all the profits and still reduce risk we don't live in a world that's that perfect right this trade in the end worked out really well now I move i'm gonna show you guys my stuff first stop right there second stop right there third stop move to the end of that day by the end of the very next day i move my stop right there actually right there super no, i didn't move it to there yet i'm not that aggressive and then the very next day i got going again i moved my stop to the low of the day right there and then the uh i think i believe i was stopped out let me see i have to take a look at my notes I have to use 28. We're going to have to use the five minute, even the two minute one. And the October 28, not October, September 28. Exactly to see what happened on that day. Go back that much, sorry. Okay. So I think this day the market also had a big gap. So the stock gapped down, but it recovered in the first five minutes. So I moved my stock from there, from uh, 152. 152.50 to 152.76 locked in 20 cents i got kicked and i'm not so i got kicked on the 23rd let's take a look at the daily chart on the 23rd this is the day where i got kicked now the stock is obviously higher now but uh, I avoided these two days of pullback, and potentially this could have this could happen. So I think yeah, that's about it. The stock got a higher now. Do I regret or not? Uh, what is it? Should have kept it? No. That's that consistency, you guys know. And uh, that's I think those are two really good examples that I can show you guys. Uh, I I I hope you guys understood this video. I. I think you can literally go to Investopedia and they teach you some simple risk managing uh, calculations and all that stuff. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to show you guys any formulas and equations. I give you guys two examples. Literally, if you still have nothing, like you still don't understand it, replay the video, start taking notes on the numbers that I wrote. You, I, when, I when I say the entry and stop, write it down and then, and then do the calculation on your own. This way you get a memory, you get a muscle memory and you, you know, you, you're doing it so your brain understands it. And even better if you open a chart next to it and kind of sort of compare it going back and forth and see how I do it. It's going to help you in the long run. It's going to help you learn really fast. But yeah, thank you guys for 
uh, watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.